Hi everyone, today's video I'm going to use the Eileen Hall Sizzix Scoreboards Large Notebook Die and it's 663635 here's the number and it's this die right here. This is the project that we're going to make. I use some really thick clear acetate and then inside are these envelope pockets and so it's a fun way to put your embellishments, you know, to gift a crafty friend. Here's another one. Some bows inside. And you can see I didn't put any closure because it holds it pretty well. Really cute. So there's four envelopes total. And what's cool is you can see there's, you don't see the twine when you fold the next envelope. And then it gets all tied up right here. And then I add this um, pretty Maggie Holmes tassel charm. So let's go ahead and make this. So I went ahead and pre-cut um, the notebook cover. And you can see it has three crease lines. I just folded the two lines. I didn't fold in the, the middle crease line. And this, again, is some really thick um, acrylic sheet that I have in my stash. We're going to use the scoreboard, the We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard, because we have to make the envelopes. And I used, let's see here, the three by four and a half card size. The paper size is six and a half by six and a half and then you're going to score it two and three quarters and you'll need four of those and I went ahead and pre-punched and scored three of them so let's do the fourth one together so we're going to line the six and a half by six and a half paper at two and three quarters so we're going to punch, score and then you just follow that score line, punch, and then score, punch and score, one more time, punch and score. And then I corner round the edges. This part is optional, just gives it a nicer finish. To the envelopes. Okay, so we don't need the scoreboard anymore. So now we're going to fold in our envelopes. Now I don't, um, I don't flatten in and give it a crisp fold because I like my envelopes to be a little puffy, if that makes sense. See, it gives that little puff to it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We do that to all four of them. And this will fit a gift card as well, and a nice size card if you want to add a gift card or a card to this. It's just a cute little fun project using this notebook die. Because all of um, Eileen's dies are scoreboard dies and it, basically the scoreboard dies score really thick material such as her mat board, chipboard, as you can see here, really thick um, acetate, so that's what's really great about her dies. Okay, so we went ahead and fold all of them. You're going to need four 24 inch pieces of twine. This I just got at my local Hobby Lobby. This is twine right here. So you'll cut four of those at 24 inches. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is we're gonna pick which one I want at the front because it's what's going to show. I think I like the seashell. 
Let me see what it looks like. So you can kind of just play around. Yeah, I think that looks cute. Okay, we'll do the seashell as the cover. I usually pick what's my cover first, and then I go to the next one. So I'm gonna take a print that's not as busy as my next one. And then I'll take the next busy one, which is little swimmers on here. And then this print, this is my last one. Okay, so now I know which order I want them in. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my first one and you're gonna take your twine, you're gonna place it at the bottom of the envelope. Okay, just lay it like so. The string doesn't have to be, you know, centered yet, just as long as it's inside the envelope. Then you're gonna take some double-sided tape. Here I'm just using a 1 8 inch double-sided tape. I'm gonna place it on the envelope like so. And then just put some on this end or this side. Okay, and I always take my pokey tool to take this out. My nails are longer than my usual this time around. I'm actually liking them really, this really long like this. Okay, so now that you put your adhesive there, you're just going to close it. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. And you're gonna do that to all four of them. So let's take the next one. And then add double-sided tape. And then the bags that I used for the inside are the three by four bags that I had shared in my prior video that I picked up at Joanne by Fab Lab is the company. Just three by four envelopes. Oh. This one I cut two, cut two long. Maybe you could, you could put the adhesive first before you put the twine. It just gets all over the place. Yeah, so put the adhesive first and then put the twine. Just makes it a whole lot easier. And close. Okay, that's your second one. So we're going to, you know, line them up. And we'll take our third one. So this one on the other side. And you can um, create the same project with Eileen's larger journal die just measure the envelopes that would fit in that journal book. And you could do the same thing. Okay, that's our third one. And we'll take the fourth one, last one. So it doesn't require a lot of adhesive, just only for the envelopes, as you can see. And what's fun is you could, you know, choose whichever twine you want, and you could pick one that coordinates with your paper, because there's all different types of colors. Okay, so now we've got all four of them done. So what I do next is I Take my envelopes, you know, line them up like so, and then I just take a paper clip, well not a paper clip, a clothespin, and then I hold it 
like so, just like that, so they're nice and lined up. And then I line up the, the twine, because we want it even. So just line up the ends, just make it all lined up together. And I make sure they're in a row, okay? So it's all not on top of one another, basically. So they're pretty close, actually. Okay, so that's pretty good. And the next thing I do, I just, I'm just going to remove one of them. I'm going to place it inside the notebook, like so. And then I tie it. But first, I'm going to take back that clothespin. I'm going to hold this down. And then I'm going to tie a knot. Before I tie it, I want to make sure these are all lined up. Like, see how this one? You see how it's all lined up? I want to make sure that is what's going on over here. Before I tie my knot. And same thing with this end. Make sure. Okay. That looks good. Okay, now I'm going to tie a knot. Right in the middle. I'm just going to tie a knot here. Of course, when I made that one, I didn't have these nails. So this part might be a little challenging for me. And then you're going to make a bow. I can, I can make it a little bit tighter. Okay, and there you go. See? I'll, probably, I'll adjust it later, but it's supposed to be tighter. And then you just close these down. And then you can decorate your envelopes however you like. That's a cute little mini book, little notebook with envelopes. So there's this one. You see how I added some die cuts and chipboard? And you can add some really fun embellishments. And that's how you create it. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.